right, let's add some statues to this place. So build furniture and statues, and we'll pick statues. One statue. An iron statue of Dodok labored, ang la labored anguish. Yeah, that's a great statue to have in the front door. My goal today is to um, destroy the bat people menace that's plaguing my cave so I can collect all of this sweet spider silk. One thing I noticed last time is they, the, the bat people, when they're idle, like this guy right here, they don't hang out on the ground floor of the cavern. Instead, they hang out uh, on the walls or on the ceilings. Is Animal Trainer a separate skill? I'm not sure. Oh, the fight. Oh. Oh, here we go. This is what I feared. This is what I was worried about. The, the Hydra I had trained was not tamed. It was only set to a semi-wild state, which means it was friendly, non-hostile, but it was a ticking time bomb waiting to happen. Um, let's go. Let's go to the event. Oh no! Oh, look at all the blood. The issue is okay. So I I originally um, at the end of my previous stream, I was getting frustrated that I wasn't capturing any enemies to feed to my Hydra. And so I put some livestock down there. You know, like, remember in Jurassic Park where they feed the T-Rex the goat? I was basically trying to recreate that. I wanted to feed my Hydra, like, a mule and a alpaca. I just grabbed some random animals from my farm. And the problem was the Hydra was trained at that point, and so it did not attack the animals. All right, all right. Let's see what the combat log said. I kind of want to see how these things... Like, I want to see... Okay, this thing's like a guinea pig, right? The cavy? I think the cavy's a guinea pig. How did the Hydra kill the guinea pig? I wanted to find out. Oh, that's just brutal. The, <laughs> the Hydra bites the head of the horse and then just shakes it. All right, to use another Jurassic Park analogy, uh, do you guys, if you remember how the lawyer dies, you know, the T-Rex and then shakes him. Just, you know, poor horsey. The alpaca had it, you fair. Oh, the alpaca is unconscious. No, it's dead. Alpaca is very, very dead. Okay. We're, we're okay. How about this? Because those poor animals died, one of them was named. Let's commission a gravestone for, for at least the alpaca. Some migrants have arrived. Who? Anybody worth a damn? A herbalist, don't care. A peasant with no abilities, no skills. Um, who are you? Stonecrafter. Yeah, Stonecrafter is a good high master Stonecrafter. Novice animal trainer. Okay. I like you, Dastot. In every game, all the Dastots are always awesome. I don't know why. It's just some some areas I notice. If your name is Dastot, I'm probably gonna like you. That's true, and in a, in a in a in a if we're being efficient here, then yes, uh, using the floor construction is very wasteful, right? Because you need a you need a whole brick per tile. However, I think it looks way nicer. This is a mark of vanity that I can have like porcelain block floors over here, and it's pretty. Where is Dastot? I'm kind of curious. Dastot, what are you up to? Hauling magnetite. We're gonna we're gonna follow you yeah there we go who cares what they think yeah that's not who does care you go girl don't let them take you down that's not was interested near a fine trap ejos human poet nope we're gonna kick you out we don't want you i think they need to tweak um the happiness of children because for some reason my dwarven children are always so fucking pissed. <laughs> like, they're so upset. Like, why are you upset, Zolon? I don't see any... Re Look at this. He's all he's satisfied, content, euphoric. He's drunk. He's one years old and he's drunk. How can someone be so consumed by hate? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? You seem pretty upset. 
Why is he so pissed? Oh, none of, all my puppies are either gelded or female. Alright. <laughs> Alright, Meng uh, says Zuknish. You, my friend, get to keep your balls for now. You're frail. <laughs> All right, you're going to breed the next generation of war dogs. Uh, I should have been a little bit more careful with that. This is the Claystone Memorial to Cogsnack. I'm going to say the last name. The slab breeds in the memory of went missing in the... Okay, I was hoping for something like was devoured by the Hydra. Oh, oh. The dwarves never found the alpaca's body. So they have no earthly idea that the Hydra ate the alpaca. Because, like, look at this one. Th th this Sarvesh is a dog. And this dog got a huge epitaph, right? Um, in memory of Sarvesh, born, uh, bled to death, slain by the Batman, Norish a nourished groove with an iron spear in 116 devoted month. Yeah. See, this dog had like, it had an awesome gravestone. Okay. Anyway, not that llamas come back as ghosts. There is no good reason to memorialize your pets outside of like RP purposes and maybe some nobility requests. It's just, I've never seen a goblin with blue skin before. That's, that's kind of weird to me. Destot's created a magnetite ring. What kind of ring? Ar Arison Kabontekok? Fleshy plans. The odorous sweetness. Well, that is an object. So it's just, it's just kind of funny that everybody... This ring has like a reputation, right? All my dwarves like lose their shit over it and make, making making crafts dedicated to it. But it, it, that's kind of funny. Oh, uh, Sacred Boat Guy's back. I, I love his religion. His title is Sacred Boat. And he is part of the religion called the Cult of Swimming. This is the best song in the game, by the way. He doesn't have it. What the heck? Oh, he's hauling it. Azur... Azuzrab. 8,000 value. This is a silver mace. It's an artifact. Studded with <coughs> trifle pewter... It menaces with spikes of cat's eye. Um, image of Atir Tongswip, the dwarf, and dwarves in ruby. Atir Tongswip is surrounded by the dwarves. The art relates to the appointment of the dwarf Atir Tongswip to the position of dungeon master in the crypts of catching in the year one. This thing's ancient. This thing's like over 100 years old. Oh, that's friggin' cool. Lost. Where is his name? Uh, details. He likes silver maces. I'm gonna change that. He gets a new weapon. Specific weapon. He gets a Zuzrab. Alright. Does, does, does he have children? Zuntir? Have kids, man. Where are your children? Well, he has a lover. So come on, get some kids. Chop, chop. You know the scene in Aliens where, like, you se they send the Marines into the hive? That's how I feel right now, just with bat people. Elf guy, you're 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 doing good. Oh, you 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 fucked them up. I'm gonna nickname you Bat Killer. Oh, that's gnarly. This bat person's intestines are hanging out. Oh, that's so... Okay, look, so look at this. The bat people are flying in combat. So the dwarves have to fight up. They have, like, the bat people are, are attacking from the air. So this is like air combat. <laughs> oh, no. That poor cat. 
All right, how's the population of cave dwellers going? Oh, there's still so many. Men, take the kill order. He's getting closer to the wounded man. No, we have our. Uh, we're gonna have our first casualty. Oh no, the Batwoman's wrecking him. Enraged at all enemies. He's not dead yet. Oh, here comes the cavalry. Holy shit! The Batman approaches. Maybe he won't notice him there. All right, there we go. Come on, kill him. Fuck him up. There we go. Holy crap. Look at all the wounds this guy has. Holy shit. Okay, so this is the guy that was, like, doomed to die, like, two or three times, right? Look at all of the damage he's taken. This guy has not had a good time. Everything's just chopped. Like, he was just being, like, literally sautéed. The wounded are being carried back. Okay, okay, so um, we got this guy. And, uh, oh, okay, she's she's going to go rescue one more. So let's follow her. She's going to go rescue the other wounded. Go, Toulon. You got this. Oh, she died. Toulon, you went to help the wounded. You magnificent bastard. What the hell are you doing, Mingot? What are you doing? What are you even doing down here? You have no job. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, he dodged it. She jumps away. She parried the boulder with her spear. Wow. What a boss. Up oh, there. There we go. <laughs> The second one got her. I'm going to I'm going to have her executed. And then we'll deal with her friends later. I'm going to execute her in front of her caged friends. I I hope they react to watching her die. There we go. Hammer the Hammer Lord. I love this guy. The Hammer Lord um just splits her skull. 